Hello, welcome to this tutorial, Preparing Your Computer Settings for MLA, a step-by-step -step approach. Getting the settings right for an MLA paper can seem a little time-consuming, but I'm going to walk you through it once, and then what you might want to do is to save this as a template, and then you can just, you know, create papers from it later on. So let's work across the top. The first thing that we want to do for MLA is to make sure we're using the correct font. Now MLA, we are going to use Times New Roman, and we're using 12. And that will be for every paper that you turn in. It, it is always Times New Roman 12, so please do not send me anything but that. Now we also want to make sure while we're here on the Home tab, that we are making sure that the paper is left justified only. Please do not justify right left. Always left justified. Next we want to make sure that we have our spacing correct. So here at the paragraph tab, we have some options. Now we are going to be doing double spacing, but don't simply click here because there's one other step that a lot of students overlook. Go to your line spacing options. Under line spacing, you're going to select double because we write in double spaced. And then you also want to click here. We don't want any extra spacing in between paragraphs. A lot of students overlook this, so there's some odd spacing in between the paragraphs. Now you can either set this as a default if you'd like, or just click OK. So let's move over to the next tab, the Insert tab. We're going to use this for our page number. We want it up at the top of the page on the right-hand side. Now with MLA, you also need to have your last name and a space, but don't stop here. This is where a lot of students make a mistake. Notice how this is defaulted back to that Calibri that we were looking at before. We want this in Times New Roman 12. The font must be uniform throughout the entire paper, so don't forget this little step. Then you can go ahead and close it. Now let's check our page layout. Page layout is what we're going to look at for our margins. In MLA, you want one inch margins all the way around. If you have an older version of Word, it may be defaulting to the 1.25, so you might have to go in and manually change it. So one inch all the way around. One other thing that I want to make sure that you have set is that your hyphenation is on none. You don't want to have breaks in between words. You want it to word wrap at the end of each paragraph. So, once we've done that, we have the basics down. So let's see what the header is going to look like. The first line is your name. The second line is my name. Then it's going to be your course title. Let's just make believe that this is, you know, June, January 1st. So we want to make sure that uh, we have it as the two digit day, three letter month with a period, and then 2014 or whatever the year is. So the title should be in upper and lower case letters. Notice that the first word is capitalized, the nouns are capitalized, the verbs are capitalized, but the articles and the prepositions are not. Make sure that you check this before you submit your papers.
So the first line of each paragraph is indented one tab. There is only one space between sentences. If you're used to doing the space space, make sure that you go back in and delete that because we only want one space. So let's pretend that this was the end of our paragraph. You would hit enter and then tab. And begin the next paragraph. Now the last step that I'm going to take is with my title. I want to make sure that my title is centered. And that's it. So we have made sure that we are using the correct font, that it is left justified only. We're using double spacing with no extra spacing in between paragraphs. We have our page number with our last name and we've changed that from the default to Times New Roman 12. On our page layout, we've made sure that we have one inch margins all the way around and that we are not using hyphenation. So it might be a little time consuming the first time, but after that it'll be easy. And like I said, what you might want to do is just save this as a template. Title it MLA template, and then you can go ahead and start with that each time. Just save it as a new document. So that's it. I wish you many happy MLA papers. And if you have any questions, please be sure to ask.